Hello, and happy Purple Friday. This week we're going to be talking about the scheduling program, Doodle. Now, Doodle is a program that would be very helpful in situations, for instance, when you're trying to meet with a group of people and everybody has their own schedule going on. One person who might have a doctor's appointment one day, another person has class all day, and so on. So obviously those kind of situations can be very difficult to deal with. Uh, professors, this would be a good way to help kind of organize meetings with students or meetings with other professors. Um, if you're trying to work with a large group of people, students, it would be also helpful for uh, students to use this as a way to organize group meeting times for class projects, as well as meeting times for other student-led organizations. All right, so here we are on Doodle. I'll go ahead and put a link for that in the description here. Now to get started, we're going to go ahead and click on Schedule Event. And that'll bring us up here with the, we can input our information for the event. Um, let's go ahead and give the event a title. Name it Truman Tech Breaks uh, Party. We'll have a Truman Tech Breaks Party. And we'll put it in Club Pickler, the library, of course. And for an event, we can just put in a brief description. Come learn about Doodle. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put my name in as the creator of this poll. And my address, so I'll get all the information when it comes in. Oops. All right. Now here we have the uh, page for date proposals. This is specifically just the days right now. We'll get to times later. So... Let's go ahead and say today. Now here we can go ahead and put in what times we want. Um, so let's go ahead and put three o'clock. It's not quite three yet. And we can even say 3.30 and four o'clock. If we want to add another time slot there, we can add another group of time slots. We'll say five. Um, and then we'll go with some crazier times later. And as you can see, that really fills in for PM and AM. You can go ahead and change that if you'd like. There we go. And we hit next. Now here we have um, just a couple different settings we can change. If you want just a basic poll, which should work for most cases, you can go ahead and hit next. Otherwise, we can change some settings here. Um, for instance, we can hide the um, results of the poll if you want to make it anonymous. You can have participants only be able to choose one option or limit the number of participants per option as well if you want. That would work especially well for professors if you're looking for meeting times then. So let's go ahead with just the basic poll here. Um, here we can determine our settings. So right now anyone with the link can participate that works for me. Uh, we can go ahead and invite participants. So I'm going to go ahead and invite myself using my old student email. And I'll invite Diane too. All right, you can add a, go ahead and add a personal message if we'd like. And it looks like it just goes ahead and takes the description of the event there. You can add to it if you want. And we can hit finish. It'll send out those polls. Now you're going to go ahead and view the polls, see what it looks like. So this is just kind of what our um, people are going to get here. So we can go ahead and they can go ahead and pick whatever times work for them. Now we could have added multiple days, we could have added more times. I tried to make this one as kind of bare bones as possible so it wouldn't be real confusing. Now I made an event earlier on a different account and sent it to myself, so let's go ahead and see if that's come in yet. Here we go. You can participate in this poll. Doodle meeting project. This is Wednesday, November 11th. I can go ahead and put in my name here. 
so the person who is running the poll will be able to know who is filling this out. And I can even see either which times work for me, or if I cannot make the event at all. Since I've already put in times, obviously I can make it. So I'll go ahead and say that both of these times work for me. Now the uh, person who runs the poll will go ahead and add that information. And I can go ahead and click on this, and I'll have to sign in, obviously. And I'll be able to know um, what other people in the poll are doing and what times seem to work for everybody. And eventually, once the results are compiled, you'll have a good list of any specific times that seem to work for everyone, or at least the largest amount of people. And hopefully, that'll be able to make your meeting times be organized a little bit more smoothly. All right, well, if you have any other questions about poll, or I'm sorry, doodle polls, uh, go ahead and email me at tfitzler at truman.edu, and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you, and have a good weekend. Bye.